Buckle down because this video is gonna be a blast. Pun intended because Jawas, my goodness, the thermal detonator synergy going on of Jawas can dis just decimate a Geonosian team. And the reason why we're talking about this today is because Jawas aren't needed for anything in this game. Way back when, they were kind of semi-important for the AAT raid during the beginning. And when mods were tied to certain factions, the mod challenges, Jawas were needed for speed mods. Beyond that, these guys have not been useful at all. But I don't know who exactly to credit for this, uh, this, uh, this discovery. I've seen so many videos, but I mainly saw it from Operation Metaverse. They had someone else, one of their fans fans send them footage of Jawas blowing up all the Genosins and this is a big highlight because I'm going to make another video soon kind of highlighting how good the Genosins are after the rework but even before the rework you guys saw how good the Genosins were and it's hard to find a good counter to the Genosins without dipping into some really top tier teams in the game and people might not want to do that but with Jawas scavenger and his unique ability, line in the sand. As you're going to see, thermal detonators just pile up because when any, any time a Jawa ally takes damage, there's a 50% chance to place a thermal detonator on the attacking enemy, and then those thermal detonators will eventually explode. We did a long video on Mobile Gamer's channel. Click on the card in the top right-hand corner. We're going to remake the video because I want to make sure all of you guys know this lineup going into grand, the next Grand Arena Championship starting in about a couple hours here. And unfortunately, I don't have footage of low-gear Jawa Jawas making this work. I wish there was a sandbox mode on my main account so I can take my current Jawas and test them up against Geos. However, we don't have that capability and the test accounts as we're going to hop over there, we try keeping the gear level as minimum as we can, but it's hard to rip off gear to go down some gear tiers. So there's a few caveats to this lineup that I want to make sure you guys know. One, this is test account footage. Secondly, these are probably going to be a bit more geared beyond what the average person is going to do because not a lot of people are going to take their Jawas to gear 12 and I don't recommend it. But what I do recommend is that when you're modding up your Jawas, whatever the, whatever the gear tier may be, try to load up as much protection as possible. Protection, health sets, uh, crit avoidance, anything to make sure Jawas survive as long as possible because the trick is, number one, keep Jawas scavenger alive as possible, preferably the last one standing. Secondly, you want to make sure the whole entire Jawa team lasts as long as possible because the longer the Jawas survive, the more hits they take, which means more thermal detonators that are going to pile up and boom, they're going to disappear one by one. And honestly, I'm not even going to bother showing talking about the rest of the characters because it doesn't matter. The rest of the characters really don't matter. The whole point is just for everyone to sit, soak up punches, and call it a day. And you kind of want your team to be slow because that means more attacks coming on you. And that means you're going to be able to get more thermal detonators stacking up. Look, it's already been 10 seconds, 8 thermal detonators. And the great thing, the reason why this works is because when you're attacking or using any sort of ability during your turn, you're going to be allowing them to regenerate and rebalance their protection, and you don't want that to happen. Look, we already lost one uh, one Geo over there, so that's working already splendidly so far. Second thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to use uh, Jawa's AoE stun, because the problem with Jawa is that if you stun someone, that means less attacks, meaning less thermal detonator. So don't use it. Just use the basic, and hopefully the Jawa scavenger is going to survive a little bit longer. So right now we got 26. Let's see, how much, how many, how, oh my gosh, 33. And two things are going to happen. One, 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 one. Either they're going to just blow off one by one by themselves. Or secondly, either you can time it out with Jawa Scavenger. Or you might just get lucky right here where Jawa Scavenger is going to take, uh, take his turn. And you can immediately detonate them. Either force the detonation through this or just let them die one by one. Either way, we've already won this battle. So I'm going to throw this thermal detonator right here. And what the heck? fantastic this is just crazy good now if you watch the video we did on mobile gamers channel which is probably up around the same time as this you'll notice that there were some battles that you might lose and it really comes down to how stupid is the ai going to be we're going to run a couple more battles so you can see how this works uh, a couple more times but the thing is if they go after java scavenger too early that means the unique ability line in the sand disappears and nothing you can't get any more thermal detonators and it's game over and sometimes there are going to be some close battles or it might get down to just uh, to just a Jawa, a Jawa and Sun Fak, for example, because Sun Fak is one of the dur most durable characters on that team over there. But look, we're, they already lost the character. Now we're down. The, now they're going after Scavenger a little too early, so this might be a problem. So we're gonna see option number two. So many thermal detonators that they might die off one by one because there's not a lot of opportunities to survive. 38 thermal detonators, am I right? So we're gonna just taunt, try to stall it off. Boom, boom, boom. And I think Sun Fak is going to bite the dust too. Let's slow it down to enjoy the moment. Fireworks. Fireworks in a second. Boom. <laughs> it's so stupid. How good this works. As of now, 
Although it might not be 100% perfect, it's when you mod it this way for slow, high durability, the success rate's about 90% plus. But again, it's kind of hinged right now, which it's, I, I, I don't want to tell you guys to gear up Jawas. There are so many things to do. You should be actually gearing up your Geos right now. Geos are going to be an amazing team. Yeah, and I'm working on trying to get them slowly to gear 13 because they have some of the best gear 13 improvements uh, in this game right now. Probably the best uh, gear 13 improvements aside from General Grievous. And just that I'm, I want to see, I'm hoping some people can probably provide footage with like low gear Jawas. Like check out the Jawas I showed you earlier on my main account. Like Jawas like that that aren't really that good like gear 9 gear 10 and that is what i'm uh, trying to see i'm going to be testing out in grand arena championships we're going to be uh, doing some testing when we get the grand arena championships assuming we see any sort of uh, geonosians i'm going to test it out but the chances are we're probably not going to see a lot of geonosians just yet in grand arena but i want to make sure you guys know because uh, th this is going to be a sure way to try it out. So they have a lot of thermal detonators again. Will they survive 30 plus thermal detonators? We're going to have to wait and see in a second. I don't want to take any attacks really. I just want them to just blow up one by one. There we go. Taunt. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, let's see. So he survived a couple thermal detonators. Boom. All right. That's a good start so far. Can we get a thermal detonator anywhere else? All right. Let's see. Boom. All right. Let's see. Can we make it happen? Let's just do the basic. Boom. Boom. It worked again. Now, I don't know if this is going to get nerfed because I had a patron of mine reach out and free. Uh, he kind of pointed out that he thinks that something might be off with the, the line in the sand unique ability. It's hard to say right now. He thinks there, there's too many uh, being applied. As it kind of shows right here, 50% chance to place a thermal detonator on the attacking enemy that will explode so it seems like something may be off because let's say Geno's and spy hits once and you get the other people to come there maybe shouldn't be piling up eight thermal detonators at once on each and every character it should maybe only be one thermal detonator per character hitting so there might be some sort of bug in this because you really haven't had a situation like this where the developers had to really think hard about Jawa scavenger how the unique ability is going to interact with a team that's going to constantly attack so many times out of turn so there might be a slight bug in this so that's why I want to kind of preface this a couple you know give you a couple PSAs one you need to make sure you mod the team right Two, obviously the higher the gear the better thirdly this might be a bugged unique ability going on right here and fourth um, you know it's just a team that it's hard for me to, to recommend everyone gear up right now but it's something that I want to make sure can work at a lower gear level which we're gonna try testing out later so again they're up in their 30s should they be up in their 30s in the thermal detonators I don't know maybe they should only have half of that because really did the Genos and Brood Alpha hit to hit the characters 30 times no he probably only hit uh, a, a attack the jaw about 10 times so there might be something going on that's wrong with this unique ability here so all right they have a lot of thermal detonators i don't think they're gonna survive boom boom we still got so many now the goal is just to kind of outlive them so we can see the fireworks and i think we might be able to get this let's see boom boom i want you in my room uh yeah, like if you watch the mobile gamer video we did, uh, the, when we first tried it out, it was about 50% to 60, 70% successful. But once you remod the team for as much protection, critical avoidance as possible, this lineup all of a sudden, and slow, this lineup all of a sudden got so much better. So uh, we'll do wrap up with one more battle. Actually, we're out of battles for today. We pretty much spent the whole day uh, testing out all this Jawas versus Geonosian. So we will eventually... Um, on this channel do a full review on the Geonosian reworks But I think this is the more important video to put out first because one there's this is the hot topic for today And secondly with Grand Arena starting up soon I want to give you guys the quick heads up to go in there whatever gear level your Jawas are at Start throwing protection mods in them and low speed and in case you see a Geonosian team throw in your Jawas right now So guys that's gonna wrap up for this video my goodness that was just so exciting to see all of these thermal detonators exploding almost as exciting as the video where Grievous is one-shotting Sith Empire characters. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below. What do you think of this lineup? Do you guys have any videos showing low Jawas, low gear Jawas making this happen? Do you think this is going to get nerfed or fixed because that unique ability looks kind of questionable? Let me know down below. Like if you did enjoy it. Comment down below and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I will talk to you lovely people in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Yeah. Party Richter, party Richter. Yeah, down, 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 down. Down. Get down, bro. Put it down.